Welcome back to Naples, everybody. Dave Benz hanging out with Larry and Mike. Let's get it down to McKenzie. Third kill on the beach, McKenzie. Now you'll notice a lot of these guys are wearing what looks to be like a bulletproof vest and it is recommended for these riders as they can reach up to miles 75 miles per hour and what it is is it helps protect their back on the off chance that they fall off their ski and their back gets exposed guys and No question you want to try and protect yourself because when you're going this fast it is water But you, you hit it guys and you, you probably know as much as anybody both of you like you were a 13-year vet on pro water cross uh, races and, and when you hit that water at that speed it's still like hitting concrete it is I mean you come off at 65 70 miles per hour it's it's like hitting concrete luckily if you can land well keep your arms and legs in you don't break anything but it, it can still rattle you quite a bit they call that a yard sale when you come off going that fast approaching two minutes remaining here in this race and then the white flag will come out to determine the final lap let the riders know they have one lap remaining to navigate the course and Chris McCluggage just hoping that his machine is able to continue for these final couple of minutes and get him to what would be yet another Nash, uh, another world title, his 20th world title in his career if he can't get it to the finish line. And the amount of space between McCluggage and the rest of the field right now is just absolutely amazing. Luggage well out in front, and you see the 24 boat of Derek Helm in second place. Derek again out of Lake Liberty or Liberty Lake, Washington. But he is really no threat right now to McCluggage. The only thing standing between Chris and another world title is really just being able to stay on the boat and hope everything continues to operate as expected. Green flag racing underway as Chris McCluggage down the front straightaway. Again, stretching that lead out over boat number 24, Derek Helm, and then 913, Jordan Carroll. Jordan Carroll on that 913 machine. He hails out of Fowery Branch, Georgia. 22 years old. It's his fifth year of racing. A two-time amateur national champ and a one-time pro watercross world champ at the amateur level. In fact, Jordan says his mom raced before she knew she was pregnant, and that got the racing blood in him before he even came out of the womb. And once it's in you, it never goes away. Yeah, once you're bitten by the bug and you get to experience this just one time, most people are addicted and they just stick with it. That's why you have the riders racing at such a young age and at such an older age. And now the white flag is going to come out as we've reached the final lap here in Naples. Chris McCluggage, in essence, a victory lap as he has plenty of space to work with. What is he thinking as he's circumnavigating this course for one final lap? He's feeling good right now, but he's, he's listening. Your, your awareness is at, at its highest peak at this point. You're listening for that motor to make sure there's no hiccups before you see that checkered flag. And now the rain has picked up a little bit. Is that any factor at all? Well, you're looking at, uh, at the rain as it comes down. A lot of these guys are used to being hitting the goggles with pump wash, or they're used to white water hitting them in the face. But this is different, and we talked about it earlier. It does sting on the arms. Uh, the cluggage isn't going to have to endure it for much longer as he's making his way towards the back end of the course now. And McCluggage making a turn around the final buoy. And here comes McCluggage across the finish line, the checkered flag in a 20th world championship and the storied career for Chris McCluggage as he takes home the title here in Pro-Am Ski GP. Give it up for Chris McCluggage. And the plug is. Chris, you're making it look easy out there. And I know this is your 20th world championship, but to win it in your hometown of Naples, what does that mean for you? It was great. It's, it's my second year in a row. Uh, last year was the first year of the uh, Pro Watercross World Championships. And, you know, second year in a row winning is, is awesome. Uh, is, uh, you know, they say hard work pays off. And this time, uh, hard work for me consisted of uh, training, uh, my family, which is a pleasure to, you know, it's hard work, but it's a pleasure. But also working on my ski, uh, we had a lot of problems with it, and we've been um, 
you know, slaving away at it for the past week. Uh, people like Sam Nimi, uh, Wamilton Texier, my brother Rick, Chad, uh, just all those people, um, you know, lent a hand. And uh, it's great when you have uh, good friends and uh, a good team that surrounds you. Thank you, guys, and uh, we'll see you next year for another title. All right, thank you and congratulations, Chris. Thank you. Guys, back to you. One more look at the final results. McCluggage wins it in easy fashion and a disappointing finish for Josh Block, who got off to such a great start and then had to pull off. Yeah, Josh looked good, but he had some bad luck today. McCluggage, though, what an amazing accomplishment. 20 world titles. Yeah, it is really a staggering number. And now we've reached a portion of the program so many have been waiting for pro freestyle. Here are some of the highlights from earlier in the day. First trick going to be a big backflip with a second. Big off axis spin there to the left, to the right, and then a big, big backflip. Another off axis. Four or five tricks right in a row there. Because he saw it on TV and knew right away it was something he wanted to do. And boy, does he ever do it well. This has been an impressive performance out of Langlais here in Naples. And he is your champion as the scores have come in. Congratulations to Chris Langlais, former two-time national champion at the amateur level, and now a world champion in pro freestyle here in Naples, Florida. So what a performance in the pro freestyle, and it will be not forgotten anytime soon. For more on Pro Watercross, make sure you visit ProWatercross.com. That'll do it from Naples, Florida. For Mike Remar, Larry Rippen Kroger, and Mackenzie Thurkill, I'm Dave Ben saying so long. Thanks for joining us here on CBS Sports Network.